Good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of Bang On Fishing Adventures. Today I've made my way down to this bay slash creek area chasing flathead today. As I make my way down to the creek, I've just noticed some surface action out in front of me here. It's absolutely glassed out this morning. Let's have our first cast. There's always action around here by the looks. Lots of fish jumping around. <clears throat> nice, beautiful morning this morning, not a breath of wind. It's currently 20 to 8 in the morning. It's not the earliest start fishing. Had a bit of a pre-fish yesterday afternoon and I discovered a couple of flatheads in the creek. The one was around 30 centimetres, the other one around 50. And then I got snipped off by one. But I actually had the light set up on. I learnt from that mistake and now I've got the heavier set up now. I think I'm running 15 pound braid with a, oh, I think it's a 10 pound leader. It's not, still not super heavy but I reckon I'll be heavy enough. I'm only having a few casts along here for now. I really want to get into that creek again. That's where most of the action was yesterday anyhow. Make my way down there quick. Make the most of this beautiful morning. One or two casts as I go. I don't think there's much water just there. It might be a little bit shallow. Maybe I will wait until I get around the corner. But today I'm starting off with a bait junkie in the motor royal colour, three and a half inch, with a one eighth twelfth, uh, one eighth ounce jig head, size two. The uh, extra casting distance with that. Well, I was going to put a quarter ounce on, but they're not quite long enough. I might have to have a look at those jig heads again, see if I can buy a different size hook the uh, quarter ounce all right so i made my way down to the section where i caught that 50 centimeter one yesterday i will work my way right around the corner this time it's a fair walk but it's well worth it might work this section a fair bit i just put my bag down somewhere I might put on the boardwalk in a minute because the bloody moisture through the uh, sand isn't any good. Well, just had my first touch. So signs of life here. This might actually be the spot. Come to think of it. I think it is. Oh no, is that a, oh, I don't know if that's a snag or fish. I feel a bit funny. There is a weed line there. That's what flat out I like too. It's like you're hooking a snag at the start. The fish life around here is unbelievable compared to back home. You see fish flying everywhere, out the water, swimming around, crabs everywhere. Got the uh, pliers at hand. Even got a glove in my pocket now. Because if we do get that big one, I can grab it. Very important I can land those big ones. Yesterday I wanted to take a photo and the bloody thing slid it off into the Water, get out of there. Oh, I've got a whole heap of weed. I 
That's it, you don't see that back in SA. There's, there's fish just flying across the water on the top. Getting chased, I don't know what they're getting chased by though. Or whether they're chasing something. I don't know. This is unreal when you come to a new place, you have no idea what you're doing. It's a lot more enjoyable. Oh, there's some bow waves behind my lure there. I don't know what's going on here. I thought I was snagged. I can feel something on the end of that. Do they brick you? I swear there's a fish on there. Gone. Right, enough of that little mishap. I've actually gone back to my new favourite lure actually. The uh, yesterday that caught me the big one was this hurricane sprat in the uh, bloodworm colour I think it's called. So I'll give that one a bit of a go there. And I've actually got a uh, one quarter ounce on now. Probably a bit heavy. So it goes, but I'm not sure whether I got bricked or whether that was a snag. You never know. They did feel like there was something on the line. That was the last one eighth of an ounce chicken I had, so I might have to order get some more I think. Because they're quite a nice size. Not too heavy, not too light. I don't really like using any more than a quarter of an ounce in river or creek or so on, fishing. See something over there, we're coming up to the rise there. Oh, <laughs> I could see something all right, bloody hell. Got one. Hasn't woken up yet. <laughs> it's only a little fella anyway. There it is. Oh, and there it goes. It's only around 30 centimetres. <laughs> well, I think I've found the spot I work now. I was getting lots of hits, so... There should be a big one in there somewhere. That's the colour that worked yesterday. Right, oh, now I've changed back to the bait junkie lure again, but now in the UV prawn colour. Give that a go. Well, I was just about to call it a day, so I actually packed the camera up and whatnot, but I've just discovered a flatty hole on the way back. So, looks like I'll be continuing on with this. See if there's another one out there. There's a fair bit of action on the top of the water then. That's why I stopped. Get right out, a big cast for it. Now I've got the camera back on, it probably won't get me. Wouldn't read about it. Wouldn't read about it though, had no camera on. I had to take it off and then hook one. I've got a photo for Instagram, but that's about all. <laughs> One I wasn't filming for. Unreal. A decent one, too. It's about 40 centimetres. Oh, 
That has to have a fish. That was a good cast. Oh, surface action. Must be something to chase from our lure. Pull the lure off because it feels a bit strange. There you go, bugger. Head for the rocks. Tap. Got him. Not big at the moment. Hasn't woken up, has it? Yeah, it's woken up now. Oh, not big, only a 30 centimetre. <laughs> there you have it. There you go, 30 centimetres, see you later. No good touching them and picking them up. It's not significant. I'll grab a picky if it's significant size. What do they call them? Three metre each. <laughs> Once it's a three metre, we'll talk about taking photos. That's not bad, first cast in the new spot. Oh, another hit. Oh, that was a good one. I reckon he's got the lure off there, but bugger. That was a decent one. Oh, that had some weight to it. Damn. All this floating timber, I wonder if they're hiding under there. There's all these floating parts of like branches and stuff. Mmm. That felt big. Wonder. Oh, air yeah, not, that's not good. Get that out when that comes back in. <laughs> I'll probably hook up now. Uh, I just had another tap. Come on, commit. Uh, the little puffer fish? Yeah. What do you call them? Puffer fish. Well, just puffer fish, yeah. right? Um, if you go in the water, are they, are they poisonous or? Some are, there's some big ones with massive spots on them. Okay. There's a whole heap of breeds of them. So the ones you have to worry if you go into the water or just avoid them? No, this one here, they won't touch you. Because if I'm walking in the water, I wouldn't be too fussed. Yeah, but Down. Should, what should we worry about going into the water? Watch out for rips. Yeah. All right. We'll Best bet is Google. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. That's not a fish. It's seaweed. Geez, I'm good with hooking seaweed, aren't I? <laughs> That's where those flatties are hiding, eh? Right? Underneath. Oh, it's a snag's what it was. So this will be it, because I won't get out of that. Nah. Oh, I got it. That's all it was, I think. One more look in there. It's murky water, so I'm not sure whether there'll be something hiding in there. Yeah, they're, they're snags. 
I'll call it. I'd rather lose a lure and lead her and not be happy. Oh, it's been a wonderful morning. I quite enjoyed that. Fantastic. I think it was uh, three or four flathead for the morning. Started off slow, picked up a little bit towards the end there as well. And then it's finished off a little bit slow. That'll be it from me now. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.